Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a pretty iconic round from the 1870s and 1880s, and that is the one inch Nordenfelt round. Now, the Nordenfelt machine gun is a fairly well known. Uh, early successful machine gun, sort of contemporary with the Gatling and some of those other models. And it was a European design. Uh, the Nordenfelt did come out of the UK and the Nordenfelt gun certainly came out of the UK. And they basically made it into a one inch version. And these were going to be mounted on the decks of naval vessels for use against uh, attackers like torpedo boats and other quick fire or quick moving uh, boats that would need a substantial amount of firepower against them. Now, obviously, by the name, it is a one inch diameter round, uh, much like the one inch Gatling, which is a contemporary of this. And it is a brass cased uh, projectile or brass case cartridge with a steel projectile with these brass driving bands on it and it is a solid projectile it is not a an explosive shot or anything like that uh, as a matter of fact i believe the saint petersburg convention of 1868 prohibited the use of exploding projectiles under 400 grams i think if i recall correctly so this would not be allowed to be used against other signatory nations, which uh, many folks in Europe had signed. So it was a, just a solid shot round that was going to uh, basically go and be effective based on the armor penetration of this steel cap here. And as you can see, it's quite pointed for use against uh, pretty lightly armored targets, but also targets that had some some uh, armor to them. This is a live round, and as you can see, it's a typical primed round. Um, they are actually found with surprising regularity at the bottom of the Thames and a lot of uh, places in the UK. I've seen a lot of these that have been brought up, and they're in pretty bad shape, but a lot of people wonder what they are, and that's what you're looking at. I see a lot written on the Nordenfelt one inch guns, but not a lot on the cartridges. So I just wanted to give you a, a kind of a close up. And also it's just a very good instructive look at what the functional types of these shells are. Like this one here is also a, a armor piercing round. You can always tell by that steel sharp cap and obviously the driving band uh, although a lot are going to have the driving band. Um, this is actually an experimental round that was made in 1899 by UMC. But as you can see, it's very functionally similar, uh, not to be confused with a high explosive round. And this is actually a uh, Hotchkiss type 37 millimeter quick firing cannon round made by Winchester. And as you can see, that would be a base uh, fused round uh, filled with explosive originally and uh, for high explosive use with this blunt sort of tip here whereas these have that sharp armor piercing cap uh, for use against naval targets or lightly armored uh, boats whereas this one just relies on blast for the effect. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the Nordenfelt round. And uh, as always, we'll always try and look at interesting and unusual rounds. Uh, lots been written about the gun. If you're interested in the gun, there's plenty of good videos, plenty of good material, but not a lot on the cartridges themselves. So thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and we'll be doing more shortly.